hi, and welcome to another episode of Workforce Whisper with Lauren and Anthony. We are two MCC coaches that are answering questions on the subreddit work. Um, but this question, I got thoughts and I want to hear yours first. So you ready? I'm ready. About to be put on a PIP. Should I start job hunting? I need advice. Just finishing a meeting with my supervisor and I'm close to being put on a performance improvement plan. I've heard this is basically a way for them to have a paper trail to fire you. I can't be without a job and am to blame for my underwhelming performance. Should I just start putting out applications? Thanks. Oh, Pip, Pip, hooray. <laughs> uh, so Pip, performance improvement plan is what this person is talking about. And, uh, you know, I think it's an end. So if you're being put on a performance improvement plan, it probably means you need to improve your performance. And so uh, I would say clean up the mess before you start a new one, uh, because you will bring whatever work ethic processes, whatever's not working here is going to carry with you to the next one. Um, and I would say, I highly encourage my clients to continue their job search, even when they're at a company that that's working for them, because you never know when another opportunity is going to arise that is a better fit or that helps to move you forward in a way that's more constructive. Also, you never know when companies change their priorities. So cover your own needs and also work on your own skills. So I would work through the performance improvement plan and not look at it as there's something wrong with me, but there's, there's an opportunity here to reflect and to grow and to improve uh, rather than seeing it as this is a criticism of who I am and, and what the company thinks of me. What you got? Um, I thought to myself, oof. one, if you know that you're underperforming, this is a time for you to decide how you're going to resolve the issues that may be happening in life or internally that are then bleeding over into work, which can lead to a whole new set of stressors, um, triggers and things like that, that are hindering you being your best self. And so what do you need to shed or rework or replan so that when it comes to your main source of earning a living, you have the ability to continue that process without this additional stress. For the question, yes, you need to start putting in applications. And then two, ask your boss, your manager, your leader, how you're doing at the end of every two or three days. Are you seeing a change? What are the little things I need to tweak, right? When you're on the performance improvement plan, this is also an opportunity for you to open up a lane of communication that can help you retain the position if that's what you're looking for. If your manager meets you back with silence and stonewalls, then you know definitely that's a sign for you to go and put in addition, begin to apply for additional jobs. Um, not sure where this person is located uh, in which part of the world. If you are here in the United States, we have a very low unemployment rate. There just aren't enough people. So you'll have a good chance of landing a new position. Will you have the same pay and other benefits that you have? That is undetermined. But if you feel it in your gut, listen to it and start applying. Agreed. Wow. We thank you for listening in. If you are interested in uh, having us answer a question for, for you regarding your career or leadership development, slide into our DMs, only about work, only about work. Um, and <laughs> we would love to answer your question on another uh, episode of the Workforce Whispers with Lauren and Ebony. Until we speak with you again, be well.